Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So, the way we left off on Overlord was with Albedo walking right into the throne room and then the king eventually announcing to take his head over the fool that made this whole situation happen. Um, and it's just one man managed to turn Isa's gears right towards them all and effectively put them right like paint a target on them do you know what i mean it's going to be interesting to see what actually happens in this so whether it's going to make any difference the king offering his head you know i, I had the, the passing thought on it as to whether or not Heinz will then go i respect you for that you're too important will not do that but realistically i don't think Heinz would actually do that i don't i think he's doomed now that he's offered that i think he's doomed right but before we go ahead, we're going to jump across to um, the comments, you know, absolutely. And the comments are from Overlord Series 4, Episode 7. It was the Frost Dragon episode. Brilliant episode. Right. First comment. I'm pausing because the, the, the username is Virgil, the legendary Dark Slayer. So Devil May Cry fan, maybe? Gotta be, bro. Gotta be. Respect. Respect. Now, the comment says, the reason Ainz was testing the dragon's strength with a grasp heart was because if you're high enough level, it only stuns you, and Aura's breath is like Aura of Despair. Brilliant. So basically, and like I said, he's rereading these comments. I, I love all reading all of these, and I'm rereading them to, to kind of show them on, on these videos. So... Obviously, we know Ainz's level and, you know, to get a good picture of someone else's level, grasping the heart, if he was a high enough level, he would have just stunned him a bit and he would have been like, ah, oh, okay, you're worth having around sort of thing. I'm with you and I'm with you. And all his breath. I mean, that scene, referee. Next one. Now, this comment is quite a large comment. And remember, all you got to do, if you see a comment you think wants to be in the top three, give it a like. Those are the ones I'm going to be reading. This one is from Joe. So this one says at the top spoiler-free law tidbits. Good that they're spoiler-free. <laughs> now I can see by the beginning, this is going to test and forgive me if I, if I pronounce any of this wrong. So we've got um, Hajimal is the Hikokomori shut-in and has the natural ability to perceive the value of any armor or weapon by smell. So when he meets Ainz for the first time, he's flabbergasted at the, at the scent of the priceless, impossible gear on both Ainz and Aura. So because he's um, sensed that, that immediately, he knew Ainz was not someone to play with, and to be fair, he's not. Um, Aura's breath has multiple things it can do, but the primary thing is to inflict a status effect. Okay, so for example, what she used against Hajima, Hajin Mal was um, a fear breath to make him absolutely loyal. It scares him so badly he almost dies of shock and that's why he wet himself. Fair enough. In season one, she used a breath to inflict rage on Hamsuki to incite him to attack and she inflicted fear in Sha Shaltia during Ainz's fight against her, which allowed him to achieve victory. God, you, for you know, you... Your comment helps me come back to previous episodes, you know what I mean? Bring me right back and absolutely makes sense. Absolutely makes sense. The giant scroll that Aura uses is a world item called the Depiction of Nature and Society. It traps everyone, cast and target, within its field of effect in a separate plane of existence. And there is always only one way of escape. The, target the targeted person is able to find the one exit and leave, then the world item will be transferred into their possession. Ah, oh, cool, I like that. I like that because then they've earned the right to have it, haven't they, really? The plane that it is created by the world item can actually be custom designed to any scenario. Top of a frozen mountain, a deep swamp land, a ruined city, etc. This, uh, sorry, in this encounter, she doesn't change the environment of the ruined dwarven city. But could have done that. That's pretty cool that she could have done that. The Quigua clan lord has in, has an ability shown here where he gives the orders to change, he bluffs his allies and makes them immune to fear, both natural and inflicted, allowing them to be marched into the meat grinder that is Sheltia. Oh, I mean, way to visualise that, man. <laughs> when he sends his strongest warriors, he does so both as mercy and to protect himself, keeps them from 
disgracefully sorry keeps them from disgraceful serving and no one can betray him later by by vying for power Ains has Ains did particularly display his power but in but it was misinterpreted he sent two death knights out and they butchered the Quigua, but claimed they were dwarven golems then two small people stood before their army demanding to bow without a shred of fear Ains's power was on full display for anyone who takes the time to see everything can see why that's been liked so many times i mean literally so much information thank you for taking the time and really really appreciate you especially on the points where i get taken back through memory lane and that little bit more finesse on the knowledge that i have about overlord and where we've come in all these sorts of bits and pieces you know of like uh like aura's breath and all that kind of stuff is really 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 cool um the next comment is from grim and it says fun fact the leader of the quigoa and Jer jerkniv meet later in irantal and become friends when they hear what Ains is doing in the Holy Kingdom, they think they will soon have a new, follow, a new fellow sufferer, but it turns out differently. Fun, not fact. Okay, that was a bit of a tongue twister. <laughs> Fun, not fact. In the fan fiction, the Valkyrie Shadow, Henjimal's mother occasionally drinks tea with the near, uh, with from season two N Naga from season two and tells him how intelligent her son is because he made the only right decision when meeting Ains to get down on the floor and bow. The suggestion that Naga Dan possesses or passes on to the messages of the Holy Kingdom. Yeah. So I like that in the fan fiction. So there's a fan fiction where that's displayed. And do you know what? That would be an interesting scene. And shout out in the comments, I, you know, let me know if you think he made the right decision. I think he made the right decision because otherwise you saw Ains with the ready to grip his heart and crush it. You know, so I think he made the right decision purely to survive. Right. We are ready. We are going to move on to this episode, which is called Countdown to Extinction. I mean, that doesn't sound positive, does it? You know what I mean? It does not sound like that's going to be positive at all. <laughs> we'll see what we're going to get. Right, there we go. Put these on. And yeah, if you enjoy this content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Much love from me. Let's go. <laughs> こちらに来られたのか。ランポスさん、今までのあなたであれば、そういった選択肢は選べなかった。まあ、ジェイス国を Oh。窓を陛下のお言葉を伝えようと。If <laughs> there is a moment to just zip it. I mean, I felt that look from Alberto right there. I felt that look. It gave me the chill. You sit down. You be quiet, dude. <laughs> like legit. Brilliant. Sit down. Let's enjoy ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. They've got no chance against Ains. They wouldn't have wanted this war. Why is Ains want a war with them? It's not a war. Can't call it a war. 
アングラース氏は魔導王を目にしたとか<笑>目にしたなんてものじゃないぜガゼフトのあの一騎打ちを目撃したんだ I did unfortunately. 何が起きてガゼフが負けたのか今でもさっぱりわからないけどな Because you would have just been like that for you. ちょっているだけさ姫さんたちから押し付けられちまってなソロノーフ殿の愛刀王国の司法レイザーエッジですねその件ですら、yeah. 魔導を傷つけられなかったんですか傷はつけられるらしいぜ。Possible. だが、届かなかった。You know, we, we don't know the blade will actually cause harm. And I'm pretty sure I got that from one of your comments as well. I kind of pointed that out to me that he just said it would scratch him. Didn't say that it could actually do harm. But let's find out. Yeah. <laughs> いいのかうんそれならこっちも安心だ感謝するよさてオキドキ王国への侵攻が始まって1ヶ月が経過したが相手はこちらが未だエランテルにこもったままだと思っているようだなデミュルゴス各街道を監視し情報封鎖しているお前の手腕は見事だありがとうございますそれに関しては、この一部貴族たちを願えらせた件、これもまた見事だぞ、アルベロ。ありがとうございます、アイン様。と、all our better ever wants is praise from アイン。この作戦の主な目的は、他国からの援軍や介入を避けるため、王国が気づく前に国境を封鎖してしまうことにある。そのために各都市を守らせる住人の皆殺しは必須だったが、コキュートス。お前はリザードマンの一戦で敗北を喫したときどうだったかはあれから学んだことは大きかったと感じておりますそうだ敗北したからこそ学べることがあると私は考えている都市を壊滅させ住民を虐殺するのは我々の力量をもってすれば困難なことではないが失敗した経験は将来より難易度の高い事態に遭遇した際の糧となる今後は領域守護者たちにもさまざまな仕事を任せることになる。OK, that sounds like making a distribution, yeah, delegation. そ、そう<笑>その通りだデミュルゴス。今回は誰が担当の地域でありんすアインス様よ。それは心してみなければなりんせんね。<笑> no pressure, アインス。大した仕掛けはしていないぞ。それに近くの町を落とした時も人間が少し逃げてるこれもアイス様の担当ですけど何か理由があったんですかオープス二人の疑問当然だならば全員でこの一線を見るとよいその後理由を聞かせるとしよう Will you really? I mean, I'm a little bit skeptical if you're on purpose or not There we go, see? Like, if Ains himself, right? He's bought himself some time in, in that he's let people escape. It's almost like he's making little mistakes along the way, but we've come to know that with Irons. But he sometimes, well, not sometimes, always gets out of it with a little help from the other guardians, you know, such as like Demigurg think, thinking, okay, this is what you meant. And he'd be like, oh, yeah, that's what I meant. That makes sense. And Shaltia asking the questions that he doesn't know the answers to so that they are explained to Shaltia. He then gets them explained to him. But now he generally is trying to think, how, how do I get out of this? Frozen prison. Ah, brilliant. I've been wanting to see him back in this. She's Abedo's sister. Like, that's. Is that what they're on about? No? 
はい。ザイズ。ハインズ様。アカンベイブザライク。王国で行っている民の抹殺をこの辺りでやめていただけないでしょうか。なので私からも同じ提案をさせていただきますわ。この作戦はナザリック地下大墳墓をより強化するための実験を兼ねている。単なる慈悲では中止にすることはできないが。全ての赤ん坊には可能性があります。アインズ様、赤ん坊だけじ
我が家に代々伝わるその名も五色政権五つの属性の力が宿ったロングソードだあれかそれが欲しいなリリネットうん条件次第では構わないぞ He seems to be giving away things a bit freely おいあああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああの子はまだ十二歳だったよねその子の側室その通りなんだけどさ五色政権のためだし側室になってあげるよ一体わしもわしなんだけどさなんでこの人口の足からよだれが垂れているのいやいやいやいやわいこれってわしの息子狙いさて伯爵ユーモアで緊張感をほどいてくださいのはいいんですがそろそろ戦闘の準備に参りましょうそうだなそれでは諸君よろしく頼む Here we go <laughs> We all love a good zombie fight, right? We all love a good fight with zombies あいつらが何なのか知ってる本気だったのリリネット知らないわ同じくとなるとまずは有効な攻撃手段を探るところかよ Good plan Test a few things first. That's gonna have no effect on, on the death knife. Oh. They just woke up to that right there. Well, they were awake anyway, you know what I mean? Like, they were like bringing the fight now. Go! Cool. Magic arrows. No effect. <laughs> Boom. No effect. No. それとも逃げるあいつがいる以上無理だろうね。Okay, this is getting a bit interesting. Okay, just. Oh, he shot through the door. Nicely done. Okay. <laughs> oh. Like, how powerful is she then? Lesser strength. Lesser dexterity. Haste. Well, there's all your extra skills and upgrades and defenses and all that jazz. Let's see how you do. <laughs> yep. Of course again. Oh, 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 okay. Oh. I'm surpri surprised you withstood that one. Oh, they're, they're making a great team. Oh. <laughs> Stuck your foot to the floor, bro. Oh, man, you got two. The other ones, I was thinking, like, why is the other one just let him go? But <laughs> fine, I'll bring the floor with me. You know what I mean? He did his leg days. Two of them now. Not gonna go well. Yeah, I see that bead of like sweat. Probably that that's definitely worry. <laughs> what was that? What the hell is that? What the hell? 
んなおいあれアダマンタイト級冒険者だもしかしてあれが負けのしずくデスナイトとデスウォリアーがあんな簡単に Who was that? 想定通りか Just as expected? What? What? Just as expected what? Like, who, who's this guy turning up? Oh, girl, turn up in this, like, full on metal suit of armor, whipping out guns, you know what I mean? That literally took down. I wouldn't say, well, it took them down easily with the headshot, but obviously the Death Knight was able to deflect some of those bullets for a majority of the time. So who is that then? Are they going to be able to put up a fight against Dines? That'll be interesting. Because Ainz has literally been walking through kingdoms, villages, just taking over whatever he wants, doing whatever he wants, whatever he thinks is the right thing to do. That's what Ainz does. That's what Ainz gets. He's having no bother at all. He is whoever, is the, whoever this person is going to give him a bit of a... Bit of troll, bit of troll, bit of competition. Uh, you know, it'd be interesting. They're definitely going to be with others because they said they were one of, and, I, and I've forgotten the, the name of the 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 um, party she said they were from. The Red something, and I'll have to write. I'll have to go back over and write it down. But that's going to be interesting. I can't wait to read what you say about that episode, and I look forward to the clarity you're going to give me on that episode. Much love from me. Overlord, let's do this.